The Northern Line is growing. A brand new branch will sprout southwestward from Kennington, with two new stations built from scratch, Nine Elms and Battersea Power Station. Because many chief stations say station on the sign, Battersea Power Station could end up being Battersea Power Station Station, but let's not get into that now. Previously, southbound trains on the Northern Line either terminated at Kennington or continued south to Morden. In order to terminate, trains use the infamous Kennington Loop to turn around and go northbound again. Both these brand new stations will link up with this loop, allowing trains to use the new extension. It passes beneath the Victoria Line by just three metres. From autumn 2021, passengers will be able to continue along the new branch to Battersea, where a ton of new restaurants, roof gardens and unaffordable housing awaits. From a bird's eye view, you can see that Nine Elms Station is being built here on Wandsworth Road in South Lambeth. And Battersea Power Station is here on Battersea Park Road, right next to the old power station which is currently being converted into housing. Conversely, you'll be able to shoot up from Nine Elms or Battersea to the West End or the city in sometimes less than 15 minutes. And this is what it will look like on the tube map. It's thought that 24 trains an hour will come down the Charing Cross branch of the Northern Line, 16 of which will continue through Nine Elms and terminate at Battersea. That's one Battersea bound train every three to four minutes. Not had a chance to ride the Kennington Loop yet? Don't panic. The other eight southbound Charing Cross branch trains will terminate at Kennington before being shot around the loop. Disclaimer, you are not actually allowed to ride the Kennington Loop. Trains running northwards from Battersea will only run via Charing Cross, so you'll have to change at Kennington for Bank Branch Northern Line services. Similarly, if you want to get from the Bank Branch to Battersea or Nine Elms, you'll have to change at Kennington on your way down. The Northern Line extension involves two freshly dug tunnels, 3.2 kilometres long. They're wider than the average tube tunnel, with an emergency path built in. But unfortunately, this doesn't mean we'll be getting larger tube trains, as trains will obviously still have to fit in the smaller tunnels elsewhere on the Northern Line. Shame. Both Battersea Power Station and Nine Elms will be in Zone 1. Kennington is getting a minor promotion meanwhile. Pre-extension, it's a Zone 2 station. Post-extension, it'll be a Zone 1 slash Zone 2 station. Congrats, Kennington. This means that this will be the only place on the underground, other than Notting Hill Gate, where you go through Zone 1 slash 2 from a Zone 1 station to get into central London. And there's more excitement over a possible further Northern Line extension to Clapham Junction. But don't crack open the bubbly just yet. It's likely that Crossrail 2 will need to get the go-ahead first, and we've not even got the first Crossrail yet. So, although that further extension is certainly on the cards, it may not see the light until the 2030s. 